Hello people, in this video let us look at the causes of neonatal seizures. So basically, um, seizures means what? Seizures means it's abnormal brain activity. It will lead to convulsion or it's also called as fit, isn't it? So this is the terminology. Many seizures, if it's there, it will be called as epilepsy. And if epilepsy is uncontrolled, it will become status epilepticus. Here we are looking at this seizure okay and in a neonate neonate means first 28 days of birth it will be called a neonate right so uh, in neonates the uh, presentation will be very very different uh, it will it will not do much but just twitching of the limbs fluttering of eyelids sucking sucking movements conjugate deviation of eyes etc and um, this is what they are saying you may notice okay but this is not there in the latest textbook however However, uh, this is not there in the latest textbook, okay? Now, let us uh, go to the causes of neonatal seizures. This is uh, the exhaustive list of the uh, neonatal seizures uh, causes. Birth asphyxia, trauma would have happened for the baby, intracranial hemorrhage, so a lot of uh, abnormal brain activity. So, for abnormal brain activity, what do you need? Hypoglycemia, hypocalcemia, hypomagnesium, some infections, meningitis, septicemia, tetanus, neonatorum, intrauterine infection, same thing under infection only you can write. Developmental malformation, so abnormal brain activity. Are you getting it guys? What are we looking at? Neonatal seizures. Yes, the causes. So, inborn errors of metabolism. They didn't explicitly say which inborn error of metabolism. Wish, which, wish that the textbook has was more <laughs> elaborate. Anyways, pyridoxin dependent seizures. Um, pyridoxin is very important. Looks like that is vitamin B6, isn't it? Maternal withdrawal of medications. So, maternal withdrawal of medications during pregnancy or after when she is breastfeeding or when that also they did not mention accidental injection of local anesthetic into fetal scalp they injected an anesthetic local anesthetic into fetal scalp why the why why would they do that anyways now this is recollection time can you say the causes of neonatal seizures something is wrong with the baby's head somebody injected anesthesia into it this is one of the cause then birth trauma Birth asphyxia. This color is bad. Please give us a different color. Birth asphyxia. Birth trauma. Maternal withdrawal of some medication. Inborn error of metabolism. Intracranial bleed. Infection. Meningitis. Then. Intrauterine infection. Yes. Then. What else? Why? Why? Something is wrong with the brain. Think. Think. Uh, ah, yeah. Some developmental error itself is there. Yes. Then. Try to think what is there in the brain, brain, what is there in the brain. Mm, okay, this is all we can recollect. Let's see what and all we missed. Hypoglycemia, very important, right? For seizures, hypoglycemia, don't forget. Hypocalcemia, hypomagnesia, all these are less, 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 less only. Okay, then. I think we covered everything except pyridoxin dependent seizures we didn't do. Pyridoxin, vitamin B6, that is right. I think everything else we correct, covered, not bad guys. So, um, we'll meet you in the next video guys. In this video, you have understood uh, why neonatal seizures happen, right? All the causes. That's all for now. And remember, you should differentiate these neonatal seizures from any tremors, jitteriness, startled uh, response to stimuli, sudden jerks on awakening of a hungry child. If it is, there is tremulousness, all this you should be able to distinguish, okay? Uh, from a proper seizure. That's it for now guys. Bye bye. Guys, just one more point we will look at here. If it is beyond new, newborn period, what can be the cause? Okay, febrile convulsions. This is different, right? This is different. Then uh, epilepsy syndrome, epilepsy itself. That's what they're talking about. Infections is the same thing what you have seen so far. So we'll make it green. Infection is the same. Metabolic causes like hypocalcemia, hypomagnesia, inborn errors of metabolism. These are also same. Space occupying lesions like neoplasm. See, there you had something like developmental error, right? Developmental error. Here they are saying space occupying lesion. Okay, we'll decide whether it is same or different. Vascular, AV more malformations, intracranial thrombosis, hemorrhage. There also there was some hemorrhage, right? Go back here. Intracranial hemorrhage was there. Okay, so we'll come back here. Intracranial hemorrhage was there. So we will go with this. Vascular, hemorrhage is same only, same, same. Then... <coughs> Birth trauma, birth asphyxia, we had seen, same thing. Then, grey matter degeneration, storage disorder, storage disorder, something different. Drugs like poison, some poisons these children took, salicylates, phenotoin, phenothiazines, 
strychnine poisoning carbon carbon monoxide poisoning lead some things like this are very different carbon monoxide lead from where did this baby get strychnine where did it get phenytoin sounds like a drug which is uh, phenytoin is what anti anti epileptic then why is it causing epilepsy why is it causing seizures strange right so okay fine so what is different in the next uh, part after neonate febrile convulsions is different epilepsy is different poisoning is different everything else is same so you will pass whether they ask you neonate or beyond you will pass if you write all those causes that we told you okay so hope you understood febrile convulsions is one extra epilepsy syndrome itself it has try to chain carbon monoxide lead it took took walking baby it go and take something and poison and it's put in its mouth looks like everything else is the same meningitis intrauterine infection it's continuation right of what we saw okay fine so hope you understood see cysticercosis is a parasite right so slightly different slightly slightly different okay cysticercosis parasitic infestation of the brain it looks like space occupying lesion okay so hope you understood the causes of seizures bye bye in pediatrics the entire pediatrics actually people people hold on we just got some more information on this neonatal seizures what are the inborn errors of metabolism phenyl ketonuria maple syrup urine disease galactosemia and urea cycle disorders okay please remember this also phenyl ketonuria maple syrup urine disease galactosemia urea cycle disorder can we remember the inborn errors of metabolism which causes seizures in neonate phenyl ketonuria maple syrup something galactosemia urea cycle disorder what else is the that's it only four very good very good very good four also you learn okay now look at this when is that uh, anesthetic going to the uh, fetal scalp you know during the paracervical block given to the mother when they are giving the mother uh, the anesthesia local anesthesia they are giving the baby's head also so it's causing neonatal seizures okay what else uh, you need to know people guys this febrile convulsion separate video is there uh, because of fever they they can get this is more common in 6 uh, month to 5 year old child if the fever is beyond 38 degree they can get febrile convulsions so this on the separate video is there look at that okay